Hi. Hi, sweetie. I miss you. I miss you too. So tell me all about your first day. Oh, wow. Uh, where do I even start? I got to experience zero gravity. Cool. How do they do that? Well, it's pretty neat. You get in this plane that goes almost straight up for like 20 seconds and then straight back down like it's going to crash. And they do it over and over again, you know, no matter how many times you throw up. You threw up? Yeah. And the craziest part is, because there's no gravity, the throw-up kind of floats there. <laughs> in a little ball. And if your mouth is open, because you're screaming, <laughs> sometimes it just floats right back in. <laughs> Boy, does everyone laugh at you when that happens. That sounds mean. No. Yeah, I would have laughed, too, but I didn't want the vomit to come back out. <laughs> anyway. Oh, could you do me a favor and overnight me some more underwear? Sure, why? I got to look at the centrifuge they're going to spin me around in tomorrow, and I have a hunch I packed a little light. Howie, what happened to you? We did overnight survival training in the wilderness. <laughs> big fun, big Big fun. I was gonna freshen up for you, but I blacked out a little on the way to the bathroom. Survival training, is that like camping? Uh-huh. Except you don't have food or water, and they don't have a sunset Sabbath service like they do at Camp Hess Kramer. Do you sleep in tents? No. I slept in a hole I dug in the ground with my bare hands. And at some point during the night, an armadillo crawled in and spooned me. Poor baby. But I did it. I survived. I wasn't sure I was going to when the sandstorm hit. Just pulled my turtleneck up over my head and... Waited for death. <laughs> but somehow, as I sat there, wrapped in a cocoon of my own neck sweat, I found that primal part of the human spirit that just wants to keep on living, <laughs> no matter what the cost. You're so brave. I'm proud of you. I ate a butterfly. <laughs> It was so small. <laughs> Beautiful. I was so hungry. Are you crying? No, I don't think it's possible. I'm severely dehydrated. <laughs> My pee is like toothpaste. Maui, if you're not able to do this, come home. It won't change how I feel about you. Thanks, honey, but I can't quit. <laughs> if I do, I'd just be a guy who had a chance to be an astronaut and gave it up. Well, is there anything I could do to help? No. Wait, send more underwear. 